guy. Folks, for those of you who are corner gas fans, they did the first online search for Canada's funniest new comedian, and he was one of the finalists. I'd like you to warm welcome for David Stonichi. buy my son a replacement pet because we found out his cat was allergic to my car starter. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have, have you experienced that? Well, yeah. yeah, you, you well, find yeah. that out? I mean, 22 bucks at the car wash and I still have dogs chasing my car down the street, right? <laughs> so we ended up going and buying him a little puppy and uh, the thing's eight, eight months old now and we came home and the thing ate a whole ball of yarn. <laughs> Saddest noise you're ever gonna hear is this piece hanging out of this end, piece hanging out of that end. Just... <laughs> so we rush him to the vet. The vet knows I'm a comic, so he comes out. He goes, Dave, I got some good news for you, and I got some bad news. Okay, what's the good news? He goes, good news is the puff's gonna be fine. What's the bad news? He's gonna be shitting wind chimes for the next three weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's a true story. You should see him running around the yard. I had to spray paint just Mary on his back. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Another little bit of tragedy. I've got my in-laws visiting me right now. Anyone feel my pain? Is that not the worst? I'm telling you. And you know what? This time they had to bring their neighbor's 10-year-old uh, daughter with them because their neighbors went to the Dominic for a holiday. So they bring this 10-year-old. Do you want to know what happened to Rosemary's baby? This is her great-granddaughter walking around my house. And you know what? I, I, I'm a nice guy, right? I go up, I go, hey, I'm going to hit the shower. Anybody need, a, need the bathroom before I go in there? And she gets in my face, she goes, you better not use my hand on tennis shampoo because you don't even have any hair. You don't even need shampoo because you're bald. <laughs> I'm like, hey, kid, I still have an ass. <laughs> Get out of my kitchen, man. I pissed in her Hannah Montana shampoo. There you go, kid. Enjoy that one. It's crazy. And my 15-year-old daughter's dating. Anyone got teenage daughters? Any some nice? Are they here? It's not for me, it's for a friend. Uh, how old is she? 14? Is she dating yet? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How's that going for you? Fucking uh, <laughs> yeah. age. Yeah. Now she's got a hot dad or something? Or? No. No, he doesn't. No, I wouldn't know. Oh, you wouldn't know, right? Now. My 15 year old daughter started dating. Now, just to give you guys a little bit of history, I'm ex military, okay? So I like guys clean cut and shaven. Like, I would love for you to date my 15 year old daughter, dude. Okay, well, maybe not the clean shaven thing, right? You know what she brings home? Gothosaurus. <laughs> Have you seen this guy? He weighs more than I do. He's got his face painted like Marilyn Manson, hair spiked up to the tree, and she brings him home on a leash. <laughs> yeah, I'm having dinner with this guy, I look at him and said, I'm not walking you after. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. Finally, I got her to break up with him, because so I said, hey, do you really want to date a guy that you're going to be fighting over your makeup with for the next two months, right? So she cuts him loose and starts dating this emo douchebag, you know these kids, these emos? Help me, I'll kill myself, you know these guys? This guy takes it up a notch and he's trying to tell me he's a vampire. Yeah, he's on my doorstep telling me he's a vampire. I'm like, dude, it's noon. What are you doing here? Like a little word of advice. If you want to play the vampire card, a little bit of research. Sunlight, bad. Yeah, but, and then he tells me, he goes, oh, my powers don't mature until I'm 18. I'm thinking, that's the only thing maturing when you're 18, buddy. Maybe the other one will drop too. Who knows? And then, and they go and see the movie Twilight. Now, can you imagine your teenage daughter taking her vampire boyfriend to see Twilight? Yeah, tell me that would be annoying. And I try to, I try to tell this guy that I'm a daylight savings day dad. Like, if I say 9 o'clock, that means 8 o'clock. Doesn't mean 9.15, doesn't mean 9.05. It means be there on time. They go in the movie, my neighbor comes over, and he's like, so Dave, when he gets home, are you going to be cleaning your shotgun on your porch? <laughs> like, no, he's a vampire. I'm going to be sharpening my broomstick to a point. <laughs> Oh, you just about made it, buddy. Bring it out here, I gotta tell you. Anybody on the uh, dating site? Anybody of you guys on Plenty of Fish, LowSelfSteam.com, anything like that? You're on there? <laughs> What's your profile name? Is it, is it cool? <laughs> nice. Big, proud Canadian, right? Yeah, my buddy's got, my buddy's on uh, Plenty of Fish, but this guy's got nothing going for him. He's like, Dave, can you help me do my profile? Because, you know, you're, you're kind of a funny guy, right? So I'm like, okay, I'll be a little creative. I go, so tell me a little bit about yourself. And he goes, well, first I should let you know I don't even have a car. Well, there you go. Step one, enjoy his long walks. <laughs> and I said, what else? He goes, well, I'm still living at home with my parents. Family values a must in a relationship. 
Then we get down to the hobbies, and I'm like, so you're still in scouts, right? He goes, yeah. I said, uh, yeah, well, that's, how's that going for you? He goes, well, I just got kicked out for touching a boy. There you go. Oh. Loves children. That'd <laughs> <laughs> be great. Enjoy the rest of the show. Good luck, man. Man, 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 man. You know that uh, on any comedy show, we try to do a little bit of variety, and that's why we brought uh, Sean with a little magic, and of course a little bit of stand-up, some youth, some uh, youth at heart. And uh, folks, improv is very, very popular, and I'm going to bring one of these young gentlemen, if 